Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, if you wanna ride this commodity bull market up with me and the, the rest of our community on this channel, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Uh, what I'm doing is I went over some ratio charts and I showed people uh, how to identify cheap valuations when you compare an asset to an asset or a precious metal to a precious metal, and that's what we were doing. And a lot of people said, well, how do we create the charts ourselves? So I'm gonna show you how to create those charts. Uh, what I have pulled up is stockcharts.com. So I went to stockcharts.com. Uh, this is what the, the web page is. Uh, you, you just go to the top where it says enter symbol. And for a lot of these physical metals, you have to use the dollar sign for the contract. So it's dollar, G-O-L-D. And then I use a colon right there, colon. Dollar P L A T. That's platinum. You can see platinum right there. You hit go. And what this is, is it charts a, a gold to platinum ratio. That's what the colon is right here. And if I were to, I'm going to make this a weekly chart so you can see a long term perspective. I go to one bar, which is zooming out. If you want to zoom in, you go to nine. If you want to zoom out, you go to one. So you hit one and I'm gonna use landscape, which is the largest uh, size of the chart. I hit update and that's what the chart looks like over 2007 to 2021. And you can see that gold from 2008 has been outperforming platinum the entire time. This is the big bear market for platinum. And as you can tell, you can see if we were to draw a trend line through here, we broke to the downside, we're at 1.46. And whenever, you, I'm sure you've heard me say this before on this channel, uh, is that when you have larger trend lines, longer and bigger patterns, uh, this is a very long trend line all the way back to 2010. You draw this in here, we broke the, to the downside. I think platinum is going to outperform gold in a very big way. By looking at the size of this chart, how long that, that trend line's been intact, how many times that trend line's been hit over, over history. And I think we're gonna see a, a vast outperformance of platinum going forward in this next commodities bull market. Uh, also, so this is how you create it. I'll show you another one here too. Uh, dollar gold to dollar P-A-L-L -L is palladium. So this is the gold to palladium ratio. Uh, this means that palladium's outperforming gold. Uh, we can also look at, we can do dollar uh, platinum to dollar S-I-L-V-E-R is silver. So dollar silver and it's dollar P-L-A-T for platinum. This is the platinum to silver ratio and you can see this is going down. Uh, when this is going down, uh, 35 means that Platinum was extremely cheap in relationship to silver. And we're just coming back up to 44. Uh, I think if this breaks, if we break this, that means platinum is really moving because I think silver is going to move to the upside quite a bit. Uh, we could see silver and platinum move up in tandem uh, at, at breakneck, breakneck speeds. But looking at history with platinum being as cheap as it is, uh, I think it's an, it's an excellent, excellent metal. Uh, to be invested in. Excellent. Would I trade silver for it? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I think silver is also an excellent metal. I think these two metals are exceptional. The it has exceptional value. Now, would I trade gold for platinum? I did trade my gold for platinum uh, when the ratio was extremely cheap, and it's still pretty cheap. So that's up to you. I can't give it financial advice. Uh, I'm just showing you guys how to read charts and show and, and to tell you what the ratios are. I can't tell you what to do. Uh, what I did is I traded my gold for platinum because I think platinum has extreme value. I think it's going to be used in ever greater quantities going forward. And if we decide to go with hydrogen fuel cells, uh, I think platinum is going to have a lot of uses going forward. And even if we use it in the beginning and they find substitutes later on, I still think the growth of platinum in other industries is enough to sustain a very large demand for platinum that will exceed the the uh, supply of platinum increasing its price quite dramatically and also keep in mind palladium and rhodium platinum's a substitute for palladium 
So we would be substituting that as well since palladium is very expensive in relationship to platinum. So I think that's all gonna rotate with time. If you guys like this content, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave comments below if you guys have any other questions. I, I, I would love to answer all the questions you have so that you become a better and more successful and educated investor uh, investing in these markets. That is what this channel's here uh, to do is to help all of you become better investors. And I don't, you may not, you may not use 90% of the info. Maybe you already know 90% of the stuff that I do, but maybe that last five or 10% that you weren't thinking about, maybe that, that fine tunes you just that little bit that you weren't looking at from, from a certain perspective. That's what we're trying, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you guys up to speed so you can be self-sustaining and so that you become a smart, educated investor. Thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.